Hello, so today I thought I would do a nice cosy journal video. It's been very rainy here so it's felt very cosy today and a little bit autumnal so although we are technically still in summer it feels like a perfect afternoon to sit down, chat with you about journals and show you some of the things that I'll be using. So this is a journal which I've shown on my channel before and I've done a few process videos. So I will link those down below because this is the travel journal I started and it documents a trip when we went to Japan back in 2020, just before the pandemic. And I absolutely love working in this journal. It's a very different style to my junk journals and my art journals. So I use very different materials and that's what I'm going to talk you through today. I have recently got a Hobonichi, so this is my first Hobonichi. I got this in July and I've been doing daily journaling in this, but that's more like um, diary style, but I do decorate it with similar bits. So I've got my stickers, which I can show you, and lots of washi tape. And then I'll also talk you through the ephemera, which I'll be using for specifically the travel journal. So I'll start with my stickers. These are what I reach for, usually for the daily journaling, but because it is Japan themed, they work really, really well in my travel journal because of the cuteness and Japan has a lot of little mascots, so like um, little stickers like this work really well because of the characters and they're just really nice to decorate the pages. So this is mostly little characters and then I also have this folder which is kind of categorised. I did start categorising it but then I bought too many stickers. <laughs> And these are mostly from AliExpress and some from Japan itself. And then I've got another package which I'll show you which I bought from an Etsy shop that's up in Glasgow and it's a small business and I really recommend. So again, this has some characters and animals and then I've got food and drink. And some of these are from Tofu Cute, so especially some of these Shiba stickers. And this is just a folder full of lots of different ones and lots of different styles. So sometimes I don't know what I want and I'll just leaf through this folder to see if anything takes my eye. And then this is the Etsy order, which is from a shop called, I think it's Chow Crafty, C-I-O-C-R-A-F-T-I-E. And they are based in Edinburgh. And I've made a couple of orders with them uh, this year and they're a really good shop. They have so many like very pretty very cute stationery that is sort of like the Japanese style. So I recently got my very first pet tapes and I'm really excited to use these in the journal. So these are all things that I haven't used in this journal before so I'm excited to try some new materials today. I also have these which are like this where they are just little memo sheets and again very Japanese inspired and lots of different characters so I thought that would be good for a base of a page. Then I've got some more washi tapes, again little characters, some um, more pet tape samples and this one was my favourite, this is a meatball washi tape which is perfect for uh, this one's food themed, so that will be perfect for my Japan journal because we did eat very well over there. And then I also have this, I think this is Wildberry Labs tape, so I can fussy cut that up as well. And just a few little pieces which I'm excited to use in my journal. So I just thought that would be useful to show you the different types of things that I use in my different journals. Like I said, I don't use those things in my junk journals or my art journals, so but I absolutely love all those sort of supplies, so it's nice to actually be able to use it because I think it's a really fun style and I really enjoy working with it. I also have a few like little cut apart sheets and lots of washi tape and some stamps and some mild liners. So I'm gonna just see how we go. So one thing I do want to show you is like all of the ephemera. So in this box is it's jam-packed with things that I brought home from Japan as well as pieces that I've put in way back when I was starting this project that I thought would be useful to use in the journal. So again we've got things like the cut apart sheets, little bits of scrapbook paper which are nice patterns. I've got things which I bought in Japan which obviously I want to decorate the pages with as well as like pieces of paper bits that I've bought in Japan. This is from a sticker set, and then I've also got things like packaging, 
uh, some Pocky, some maps, a lot of receipts. And these are just really good when I'm putting the base down in the journal. It's really nice to use these pieces that I actually got when I was out there and base my page on that. So there's a lot of paper bits in here, so many receipts, things that I picked up like this little fortune, um, some bags, airline pieces, and packaging and this is just a really good way to use up the pieces that you do collect when you're on holiday. I know I certainly keep everything and it's really nice to be able to actually use them in a place and for it to sit alongside your memories and your photos. So photo wise I have printed out a few. There's way more I need to print but I just started with these which I've been using to fill these papers that we already have and I'm not using many per page. I really want to spend my time and use a lot of the ephemera. So sometimes it's two per page, sometimes it's a little bit more and I do have like little tippings and things so I really want this to be a really chunky book. Obviously I have a lot of things that I can fill it with and I really enjoy the aesthetic of this so I just want to take my time. Obviously it's been a while since we went to Japan but this is just a project that I dip in and out of. So I'm going to use some of these pictures today to do a new spread and then when these are done I'm going to print some more. Originally I was doing it day by day so we did start with like our first day and landing and then a little bit about the hotel but these ones are more random so like here this spread which I can link up in the cards, this was a recent video I did, this was just about stationery. So some of them don't really have a theme so I'm really not worried about it being day by day. I've got a separate travel sketchbook for that so it's less about the memories and more about the feelings and the things that I brought out there and like the whole aesthetic. So I'm going to use some of these photos to fill that spread now and I'm excited to use some of my new materials to fill this page. I'll probably do two spreads so I'm going to put you on fast forward and talk you through the process but I hope you enjoy the video, grab a cup of tea and we'll journal together. So I'm starting by sorting my photos and I've decided I'm going to do a food themed spread. So on the left it's a CC lemon which is a drink you can get out there that we got from a vending machine and then on the right it's a lot of donuts so there was this amazing place that we stumbled upon called Mr Donut and I found the receipt in my box of ephemera so it was perfect because it went so well with the photos. And I'm just going through some papers and working out which ones I want to use. I also found the Pocky packaging, which obviously it's food themed so I thought it would go well, but it was too bright and I couldn't get it to work. So I'm going with more pastel colours. I've pulled out this magazine, which I've torn and cut the pink background from. I really like using that because it's got the Japanese letters and like the kanji on the page and so although I can't read it, it really gives a nod to the country and it was really helpful having that magazine because it's been really useful for backgrounds in this journal. If you can find free magazines like that, again I'm using that here with those tiny little graphics at the bottom. It's really handy to add extra colour to your spreads and when you are faced with a blank page, I find it's a really helpful starting point. So you'll see I also pulled out some brown paper which has been quite a constant in this journal, I've used it a few times and it, that's just from like scrap packaging and things and I find it really handy to add a bit of warmth to a spread and again it just follows through from the other pages and it works as a nice base to mount photos onto. This little burger dog is from the Yeastken brand, I've got quite a few stickers from them and I really love it, it's like little dogs um, dressed as baked goods and this one was obviously burger themed and it's got a cutout in the middle which you'll see I'll fill in later which is basically where the little sticker flakes were held in the packaging. So it does have a back which you'll again see that I work in later. So originally I did tear it apart but I keep coming back and forth from that. At the moment I'm looking at the meatball washi tape and I'm cutting out one of those. I couldn't find a donut themed but I found this one which I really like and that's going up in the top corner. I also have this lemon washi tape which I bought out there in Japan and that was perfect for the CC lemon drink so I've added that in and I actually really like the way that looks with the pink. 
You can see the green stripy piece I've got also ties in with the green from the burger and again you've got the yellow that ties in. I have these larger stickers which I think are from AliExpress so I've got the donuts there. I really wanted to use the lemon one because I thought it was funny anyway but I couldn't get that to work on the page. It's already quite full. So I'm starting to stick everything down here because um, I do find that sometimes you have a lot of options so it's easier to just get it down. So I'm starting to apply some of the larger elements, so I've stuck down the photos on the left and I'm putting down the stickers and the washi on the right as well as the layout for those little photos over the receipt. So now I've got my sticker album out and I wanted to add in just a few little things. So I found this It's Delicious sticker and I wanted to pop that in by the donuts. And then to tie in like the Yusken sticker, I found this one which is in a little teacup and add him uh, down to the bottom corner. As well as adding in this light pink washi tape just to try and tie in the pink from the left hand page. I'm not sure it really works over the brown paper but it does ground the bottom of that page nicely. So I filled the hole from that burger piece just with a, another food graphic and then because I wanted to showcase the front and the back, I've put some washi down to the bottom so that it's a flip and I'll add my journaling behind there where I also added yum using those letter stickers. So onto the next page now and I'm using a different magazine I got from a 7-Eleven and that was a full page spread. I really like the graphic and I thought it was really nice to just have some more simple pages in this journal because obviously it is getting full quite quickly. So I decided not to add anything over that large graphic. I've added in some washi tape there and I'm also putting in some of this Starbucks packaging. This is from a Starbucks paper bag. It was coming up to Sakura season over there. So I've added that in just to add in some more interest on the left hand page. This one only has one photo on this spread which is of Shibuya Scramble. So I'm just using these little rubber stamps and adding Shibuya there on the left and again I can add in my journaling underneath that. I'm decorating this page with some more stickers so this is just a little Molang sticker and I'm just debating whether to add anything to the top left. In the end I decide to go for these Sakura stickers again to tie in with the Starbucks packaging. But this is a really simple spread especially compared to the previous one but I really like how it turned out and it was a lot quicker than this one but I think they both work really nicely together. So I'm just doing a quick flip through of the rest of the Japan Travel Journal if you haven't seen the other spreads but I really hope you enjoyed watching this process. This is a journal that I really love working in like I said at the beginning and I hope you enjoyed watching the process as well. I'll leave a link to my journaling playlist down below in the description, but I hope you have a lovely week and I will see you next Sunday with a new video. See you later. Listen to our favorite song